I look crazy to y'all. I look extra aggressive. Yo, you look like, oh, Yo, like, for real, my oh. Oh. Yo, yo. No, 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 like, no, no. Fucking out. You cannot win if you let a bitch get up under your skin. COVID free COVID out free. here in the environment where it is super real and you know the deal. Yes, sir. Man, it's a beautiful thing. Good to see you in here. It's been many, it's been many months since a nigga <laughs> came up in here and blessed the show. Hey. You know what I'm talking about? Man, it's been a minute. Niggas yeah. ain't been up in here in a long ass motherfucking time, man. How the COVID experience been for you right quick though? Oh shit, man! I almost thought I had that shit. <laughs> nigga thought he had it. Real talk, shit. I thought I had that shit for a minute. Nigga came down with the sickness, yeah. and I thought I had that shit, but it turned out it wasn't that shit. I went and got that test. Nigga went and like got negative. tested and everything, <laughs> yeah, huh? Man. Like, I had, to, had to get the shit up the nose and ah, you know the whole shit. Oh, <laughs> did you have to quarantine and shit? You called yeah, yourself yeah, quarantine? Yeah, I self quarantined the whole nine, bro. I had to cut myself off for everybody. I was in the bubble. <laughs> it, shout out to the NBA bubble. I was in the bubble. Nigga was in the <laughs> NBA bubble. Well, it's good to see you in here, man. Well, y'all know how we get down the Ball Smack podcast is brought to you by Ball Smack Streetwear. Go through Ball Smack Streetwear and cop some Ball Smack Streetwear. We got some real nice shit up there right now. Some bomb ass sweatsuits and shit is popping right now, man. Niggas is fucking with that, man. Everything is popping right now. And motherfuckers is just all of a sudden, motherfuckers got bread out there. Motherfuckers out there having some paper, man. Hey, man. I know y'all niggas out there running the plays. It's a lot of niggas. It's a lot of niggas out there running the plays, getting that SBA money, man. I know what y'all niggas <laughs> doing. Y'all some cold motherfuckers, man. But I ain't mad. Keep fucking with the balls, Mac Top So, man. I need motherfucking motherfuckers to fuck with the balls, Mac Top So. And look, look, here. You already know, Balls Mac Streetwear is some bomb ass shit. You need to fuck with me, man. Just like the shit I got on, bitch. I see the good in you, bitch. Wear something like this. Go outside. Let me tell you something. A bitch will take a picture. A bitch will take a picture of you and say hello. I'm trying to tell you. You will win if you fuck with the Balls Mac Topsoil Rock. Ball smack streetwear, man. I'm trying to told you, man. Look. I'm not even being... I'm not even being arrogant about some shit, man. You know. Not only is this a real nigga business. You understand me? This is a real nigga business. Not only is this real nigga business. We making legit tight shit right here. 
bitches will take pictures of you when you rock my shit, bro. Facts. In real life, bro. And if you want to talk to a bitch, the door is open right there, man. Only your own weirdoness fuck it off. You know what I'm saying? But if you would just be a regular motherfucker and have a conversation with a bitch once she asked to take a picture, look how the ball smack top so it'll help you. Put game on your shirt so a bitch stop you and flirt. You understand me? Fuck with the ball smack top soil out there. And also, if y'all niggas need one-on-one counseling game, man, you could get in my DMs and get at the ball smack top soil 101 hourly consultation. I will bring you through the dark cloud of sucker shit that you're in with nothing but high quality game. I don't give a fuck who y'all are. You could be a star. Fucking with the ball smack topsoil. The ball smack topsoil improves motherfuckers. See, that's what I do. I improve by associating with me. You are improved. You understand me? And I'm not even bragging about no shit, man. I'm telling you motherfucking facts as God watcheth over a nigga. You understand me? I improve niggas through my nigga... The game is good. This is for the benefit of real niggas, man. Fuck with ball smack topsoil. You need some game. I'll evaluate your shit like a coach. I'll be looking over the... I'll watch the game. Call timeout. Come to the sideline. I dropped the play. I already seen what the... I already seen what the bitch was doing. I, re- I dropped the play for you. I send you back in the game, nigga. You're going to score points, nigga. <laughs> Fuck with balls, man. Church. Stop playing. Get this game, man. Save your life. How much money How much money would you save if you had game, man? How much? Nigga, how? It's, it's, it's no telling. The savings is Your whole life rearranged. Bitch go from talking shit to respecting you. You understand me? Your friends will be wondering like, wow, how did you get that bitch under control, nigga? (laughs) She was talking crazy to you. She called you a bitch the last time you was over here, nigga. Now she cooking and cleaning, listening and doing what the fuck you say? What the fuck? (laughs) Nigga, you got a genie, nigga? (laughs) Fuck with ball smack topsoil, nigga. All right, look, look, man. Let's be real here. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful Sunday. I shouldn't have said it today. <clears throat> I should have kept it ambiguous, but y'all know what the fuck going on. Niggas know from the from the niggas in the news topics. Um, Niggas in the motherfucking news. Niggas in the motherfucking news. I, I got to address some shit, man. And, 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 you know, I've been doing a lot of shows by myself, man. And I'm glad I got a motherfucker in here, man. Because I sometimes I be seeming like I'm crazy and shit. <laughs> talking to myself. Because I have my own opinions and shit. And I don't know if I be... My shit be crazy than a motherfucker. Or, you know what I mean? But I'm going to start right here with the Tory Lanez, Meg Thee Stallion, shot a bitch in the foot. All right. Funny, All right. Bad. Now, on my last episode, the episode before that, one of my episodes, Sucker Attack episode, I named the whole episode Sucker <laughs> Attack behind that nigga. Now, no matter what, that was a sucker attack. When I, I don't give a fuck. What a bitch said. Mm-hmm. What type of words a bitch used. You understand me? Mm-hmm. Even if she spit on you. Even, you know what? Even if she dope fiends you with the iPhone. You know what I'm saying? Even if she dope fiends you with the iPhone. <laughs> it's no, it's never shoot a bitch in the foot. You understand me? I can't understand that. 
I can't understand that. I just can't understand, man. It, one of, that's one of the first things I asked. I was just like, what, I was like, this nigga threw away his What's whole the motivation? Career. Yeah, he threw away his whole career. What's the motivation? What's the motivation? Shoot a bitch in the foot. Pull the gun out. Why pull the gun out? You understand me? Now, let me let me go into some. Uh, yeah. Let me try to understand yeah. some shit because. Wait, can I just say this though? I, all right. say I gotta say first of all, we just happy Meg is, is not hurt. She she still with us because that could have ended badly. You know For I mean? sure. That could ended badly. For I, sure. I feel like people was making too many jokes. For sure. He he ha ha. Like, For sure. When did it become cool? It yeah. Laughable to get shot. I you agree. Know? So. Yeah. Okay. But still, like, I'm in a space of, all right, first of all, they was coming from Kylie Jenner house, all right, some Kardashian shit, right? Now, whatever happened at the house, from what, I, from what I'm understanding, enraged Meg. So, I'm thinking maybe Kylie Kylie might have been flirting heavy with a nigga. Maybe you know. Yeah, I don't be, I, see. I don't know if you've been in scenarios like that. Oh yeah. <laughs> you take your bitch somewhere, and it's a really bad bitch there that's really out of pocket with you. And you not really stopping shit. You really kind of going along with shit, laughing and joking. You he ha he he ha ha. <laughs> then y'all leave, <laughs> and it's lit. As soon as you get in the car, it's lit. Right now, it might got lit. It might have was lit in there. It might have was lit in there. You feel me? Yeah. It get like that. Now let's. Now I'm assuming that Kylie is the type of bitch like. When you in her house, it's overwhelming. The wealth, the opulence, you know what I'm saying? The uh, display of power that you see. Probably some, I'm, I'm, I'm imagining it's at least one or two security motherfuckers in there just in case you get out of pocket. You know what I'm saying? Like, Yeah, it got to be a couple of little security. All right. Okay. So... All right, so let's say Kylie was flirting, doing some shit with Tori. He went along with it. He wasn't trying to stop some shit. Mm -hmm. Then they got out of control outside. Um, shoot a bitch in the foot. Okay, now... Niggas ain't got no shot. Niggas ain't got no assault with a deadly weapon cases, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a, yeah, it's under investigation still. You know, niggas ain't got no assault with deadly weapons cases. Niggas got niggas bailed out for thirty five thousand, man. You understand me? Listen, I bailed out. It caught, I, my bail was fifty thousand dollars for some suspended driving on suspended license. You understand me? Damn. Then I bailed out for like I think I did some some credit card fraud shit back in the nineties. Mm. I think my bail was like thirty five thousand or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like. Well, that's the bail or the bond. The bail, like you know, like his bail was thirty five thousand, bro. Okay, so he paid what three thousand? Thirty five hundred, man. Yeah, that's like that's like thirty five hundred. Okay, so ten percent. That's thirty five hundred. Yeah, you know, a little property, something. Mm -hmm. You know, come back and uh, you know. Come back and be in the be in the real world. Then Meg going on there. See now, I saw academics post some shit. I think he posted Meg 
I'm doing a little testimonial. And then he posted Tory Lane's picture right after that. On some um I think he was like testing the waters, trying to see if uh what the public felt about Tory Lanez. That nigga just got no likes, really. Like this shit just made the stallion just got all the sympathy. She number one bitch now to me. Like in the rap in the rap bitches, in the in the real bitches, rap bitches. She the number one bitch to me. Oh yeah. I feel like she the number she she more she more popping than Cardi with getting shot in the foot by a nigga. Yeah, a nigga throwing away his career. And see, look, and see, that's a form to me, that's a form of a bitch eating a nigga right there. See, that's what I'm talking about. Meg the Stallion have came out and just been going through niggas. See, you ain't never you ain't even noticed that. Bitches go through niggas. That's going through Tory Lane. She destroyed Tory Lanes. She destroyed him. But anyway, let me continue forth. I just, I just, I just had to touch on it, man. And you, and you see weird shit happen around the Kardashians, right? Yeah. Weird shit happen around the Kardashians, right? Weird shit happening around the Kardashians. Why at their house? You go to their house and some bullshit happen in the front yard to fuck your life up. What is that? Sound like some bullshit to me. What is that? Kardashian bitches, man, is motherfucking man. Listen. God is my protection. Kardashian bitches, is something going on with the Kardashian bitches. They got to be some type of witches. They got to be something, man. I'm just saying, boss, man. Hey, it's something going on, man. Let's be honest. There's something going on. If you if you fuck with them, it's it's something going on. It's something going on. Shout it's, out, shout out to uh, my man Ye, man. Kanye. No, Look, bro, man. man. I just I just pray for my boy, man. Y'all pray for my boy, man. Did you see that picture of him and um, Kim arguing in the car? I think they was at. Uh, it was a picture of them arguing in the car. Oh yeah, I did see that shit. Yeah. And they and they they was um. That's like a recent pic. Right? Yeah, they was at a, I think they was at they was at the fast food spot. I can't. I think it was at a chicken spot. Mm. Popeyes or something. I don't know something. But anyway, mm. that face that Kim Kardashian had in there. That's the face that your bitch supposed to be having. You know when she like. Uh, your bit when your bitch is hysterical, but your face should be calm. You shouldn't look hysterical when she look like that. You should be like calm, like, like you know that meme, that one meme with the cat. The cat be calm, and the white bitch be over there on <laughs> one and shit, <laughs> and the cat be chilling, like, and the bitch be, <gasps> and the bitch, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know, like that's that's how niggas should be, man. But anyway, I. You know, man, I keep saying it, man. These bitches be destroying nigga. Oh, Lamar Odom was already kind of fucked up, but I think they finished him. I think they finished him. I think they finished him. Kanye, man. To <laughs> Kanye, man. Kanye, man. This this bitch, man. They ate Kanye, man. I don't think Kanye can pull himself out of it, man. I think it's impossible. I think it's impossible. I, I I don't think it's no prenups or nothing like that. You don't think it's no prenups? Nah, I don't think so. I mean, it's the same dude that said... Well, I may, maybe prenup. Kim might have put one on him. Nah, man, it's the same dude who told us get a prenup. I don't it's know, man. Dude. Kim, man... I don't know, man. They, he said, I. He said it himself. If you ain't no chump, holla, we won't prenup. We won't prenup. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's something that you need to have. See, look. <laughs> I don't know, man. Kanye. I'm scared of them bitches, man. There's too much shit happening around them bitches, man. man. There's too much shit happening around them bitches, man. Every time, it. it they destroyed Bruce Jenner, turned him into a bitch. The the pops is dead. Robert Kardashian, that's the pops. He got eight first. Then then the bitch, yo, like niggas that don't exist no more. Reggie Bush, 
Ray J shit is invalid. Why is it that why is it that she blossomed from the from the porno and Ray J shit just go into obscurity, insanity, weird shit just over there promoting scooters and shit and headphones and trying to be out with strippers and shit with kids, wife, wife over there looking at a nigga going, this nigga's a damn fool. I fuck with Ray J though. That's my nigga. But Ray J, like, you know, you know Ray J all over the place, man. Shout out, shout out Raycon, man. Shout out Raycon. What the fuck, man? These bitches, man. Kim, them, man. It's something to where they, they, it's something to where they, the niggas they fuck with, they take, they take whatever it is that, they take it from them. You said they take you. Whatever the clout, they what, them, the, the, the whatever light. the essence <laughs> of a nigga is taken. You see how Kanye is like a different, weird motherfucker now. Like, remember how he used to be? He used to be like a music motherfucker, like just good music, like cutting edge music shit, rapping, not weird. See, I think he came out with that Jesus shit because he know he found out that they was evil and he trying to cut. He might he might have didn't even know. He might have didn't even know. He might have stumbled on some shit. What would you do if you did that? Okay, imagine that shit. Like you was you was fucking with that bitch, and some type of way you stumbled on some information that they was some real deal witches doing seances and having ceremonies and shit and sacrificing babies and all type of shit and all just type because that's the type of shit, motherfucker. You know Jeffrey Epstein now. Well, I gotta say, you know Jeffrey Epstein now, right? See, when you think I'm tripping, yeah, listen, man. Something parallel, that shit you, you listen, talking man. About. Let me tell you something, man. Have you ever heard of the Marquise de Sade? Yeah. Sadomasochism. That word sadomasochism come from Marquise de Sade. Okay. That's an author from France in like the 1300, 1200. Well, I, I can't remember what it is. I, I ain't. Let me pull that shit up. I'm going to pull it up. Marquise D. Side, man. If I was in that situation, man, I just have to get the fuck out, man. You got to get the fuck out, bro. I mean, no pun intended. You really got to get the fuck out. What you mean? Like. 1740 Paris, France. Marquise D. Side. Let me tell you, man. That motherfucker, man. Jeffrey Epstein and them, all the shit that they doing, man, is in that book. Listen, man, motherfuckers, man, but it's modern. Jeffrey Epstein, them modern with it. I can't believe it, man. So I, I feel like I, you know, I feel like Kanye found out some shit and he trying to plead his case. I don't know. I'm just saying. But you check, you, did you check out the Jeffrey Epstein shit? I did. I did. Did you see the documentary on Netflix? Yeah. What you think about this shit? Yeah, I thought it, I thought it was sad, man. Like when you just see how many how many young girls that went niggas through that is going shit. through white girls and getting away with it. I was thinking about how powerful that is for them to use and abuse white girls and let them live. To be able to t- and, and not be worried about them telling, and not and th- you know what I'm saying? Not they not because you know I, you would think that a motherfucker would be worried about a motherfucker telling, but they was not worried about the bitches telling. Well, you see what they how they did that though, right? I mean, that's kind of like standard when you manipulate motherfuckers. They got they got them to be accessories too. You know what I mean? Like. They got them to be accessories too. Like bringing in other bitches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me? Hey so man, they, they, they had them in there. You know, they had you. That's amazing, man. <clears throat> they got you. But there. look, here's another thing, though. While you was watching and going, that's some fucked up shit, man. This motherfucker over here. Uh, that's some fucked up shit. This motherfucker. Um, Jeffrey. This motherfucker got the young bitches massaging the old niggas for two hundred dollars a pop, right? How many bitches was trying to trying to knock down them numbers though? Trying to get in like four, five of them a night. How many bitches was? 
they was working. They was working for him. But see, the bitches was like the ones that was. They was like that. This was gross and horrible and shit. This was like a horrible thing. But how many of them bitches was like? I'm just gonna bring a couple of my friends. Let's put in this work. We gonna be balling. We gonna be having money. How many bitches was like? We gonna have money. These That's old crazy. ass motherfuckers. Think about that though. I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to shame victims. I don't nah, I mean, this is this is the. I, I, but the reality. It wasn't right. I'm not the advocate. You know what I'm saying? But I know that it was that too. Like I know it was a couple of them that was like, we gonna knock down these numbers. Well, look, I look at it like this too. What you gonna do when you a kid? You know what I mean? You on some? You walk into some strange shit as a, as a young girl. You a kid? Yeah. You walk into some strange shit, strange situation, and you already kind of like, damn, I ain't. I don't know if I have a choice. I don't know if I have a choice. But then you figure out, I do got a choice. It would seem like if a bitch got a father, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. if you got at a, a certain point, you got to be like, dad, like, shit is crazy. But you think about that, too. You think about some of these kids nowadays, man. Some of these kids just be hiding shit. Like, they can't wait to not tell you. That's why I said That's why I said How many bitches was like We gonna knock down these numbers Man. We getting money now mm-hmm. We can make a thousand a day Doing this shit How many bitches did that I don't know man I have no idea And I'm gonna tell you right now man You know when you be looking at the gram And a lot of these I feel like Every bitch I feel like I feel like 90% of the little bitches that you see on the ground that be like, how's this bitch doing that? You looking at the pictures of bitches in different countries. You don't see the dude. You never, you never see the dude. You don't never see nobody else. You don't never, never see, see the dude. No, nobody that they with. You know what I'm saying? Flexing for the grand. Now, I seen a couple bitches break down and just be like, this is my friend. Because he was over there pressing her ass. I seen a couple bitches break down and say, I took a picture with a random guy at the... At the, at the airport. No, a random guy at the bar at the beach where, you know, I was at the beach in, the, in Turks and Caicos. This is a random guy I took a picture with having fun. And I'd be, oh, that's the nigga. That's the nigga. It'd be the old, it'd be the old dude. It'd be the dude. old, it'd be the old, sponsor, <laughs> it'd be the old white dude and shit. You feel me? I'd be like, yeah, with bitch, the, I see you. Yeah. <laughs> he out there smiling, like, at least give me in the picture some type of way, bitch. I just at least want to be shot out. The homie over there, the sponsor, he over there just in the background hey, living man. life, man. He ain't worried about nothing. Hey man, I I be telling I be hey man. He hoping his wife don't see. <laughs> Bitches just be really a hey man. I'm trying to tell you man. I'm trying to tell you. I right, um. Dr. Dre, another nigga in the news. Dr. Dre, I wanted to come in and report. That Dr. Dre reportedly has a prenup. My and I, nigga. I'm in great celebration of that. I wanted to make sure I came in and acknowledged that Dre had a prenup because our damn show was looking down upon a real nigga, man. I was saddened to. Uh, it saddened me that a nigga. It saddened me that a nigga. Uh, might have might have just been married freestyle to a bitch without no prenup, man. I was sad, sad. Listen, man. God bless Dr. Dre. What's up with it? Saying this, I probably never get fucking married, man, because you gotta never say never, my nigga. You know what I'm saying you gotta understand what it is, and it is what it is. What you gotta understand is like it's a business. It's a business, and a lot of these women, you know, not all, some of them, mm-hmm. you know, they they look in. They looking just for a ticket. They looking to be taken care of, like you know, and that's the rhetoric. Like, and I, when I say taken care of, I don't mean taken care of, you know. Like I said, that's why they looking for sponsors. That's why they looking for sugar daddies, cause they just like, I don't want to do it. 
Well, bitches be needing help, man, because the cost of living around this motherfucker is out of, out of, it's ridiculous, man, you know. And I understand that. That's why, you know, I got a lot of love for all the single mothers out there, man. Shit, you know what they man. supposed to do. Hey, what you talking about? 1500 for apartment, 700 for the car, no, with insurance. Edison, couple credit cards, food. Man, bitch need, and cost of, and, and, bitch need a good job plus two and, sponsors. And, and fun, because you know you gotta pay for that fun. Then the fun. <laughs> I'm flossing, bitch. I'm, 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 I'm stunting on bitches on the ground. You can't stunt, man. Listen. But anyway, I was just chopping it up with a nigga about that. Nigga was like, man. Ball smack, man. How did bitches be in LA be doing it, man? I be coming out there and bitches be like, bitches be, bitches be looking bomb, fly at the out, out, out and about, big purses, looking good, hair, fly, gear, out and about, moving around, enjoying shit. How these bitches be doing it? Then I be looking at bitches be having two roommates in a, in a one bedroom apartment. I'm like, hey man, it's survival of the fittest out here, man. These bitches be running plays. Bitches be running plays, hoeing, uh, got a couple sugar daddies on the, on deck. OnlyFans. Plus work, <laughs> OnlyFans, niggas contributing. Hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. It's a brave new world, man. <laughs> Yo, I want to shout out this video I saw. Another nigga in the news. This was a very heartwarming video. I don't know if you saw this. The DNA video. You see the <laughs> DNA? Yeah. Let's show it. Another bag. I can't with you and your foolishness. Oh, my God. You are one silly man, are you? <laughs> I can run. Oh my God, what is this? <laughs> oh man, duct tape, really? They ran out. You're such an amazing rapper. They ran out. It's done. An envelope? What could this be? What could this be? It's not shaking. It's not my necklace, I don't think. Let's open this up. Ooh, it feels kind of thick, okay? Hold on, it may be. Maybe. Pip? This better be a ticket to Dubai for two weeks straight round trip. Because you know I've been wanting to go to Dubai. Open it up. <laughs> Let me read it. What is this? You know what it is? I just want you to know that I know. Nave is not mine. She's Why? not my daughter. Why did you do this tonight out of all nights? Why? Because I wanted you to know that I know Nave is not mine. I've had doubts. So what I went that DNA test. Nave is not mine. She's not my daughter. Why would you do this? She loves you though. Why would you do this? She's not my daughter. Why would you do this? Why would you cheat? I didn't cheat. Why would you cheat on me? I didn't. That's proof right there. DNA test. Nevaeh is not my daughter. But babe, really? Out of all days, you had three years to give this to me. Now you want to give this to me? All right. Well, listen. You and Nevaeh got to the end of the month to get out of my house. You're kidding, right? I'm not kidding. But you that's your daughter. You and your daughter had to the end of the month to get out of my house. But that's Kelly. your daughter. It's not my daughter, Kelly. Yes, it is. The paperwork says it's not my daughter. Why would you do this? I am not the father. No. Stop, babe. Can we just talk? You're looking around my face. Can we just talk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The homie, man. Okay, the DNA video. Everybody said it was fake. What you think? You think that was staged? Or you think that was just a nigga like, you know what? I caught you and I'm finna just blow it up. I'm finna you blow know it up. what? You know what? Let's settle a debate right here. Was it staged or not? You know what? Um, it could have been real. It could have been real. I think so. It could have been real. It could have been real. Because some bitches, 
because some bitches are passive aggressive ruthless bitches meaning like they could do some passive aggressive fucked up shit like let let it go the distance you thinking the baby is yours type shit but when confronted on a gangster level they fold like they don't have enough to to lose every to to lose it okay like now let's say like a real bitch like a real bitch like like let's say if it was a a, a real bitch that was running that play when 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 she would have found out that you know I'm I'm folding your shit up right here I'm I'm blowing up the spot I think she would attack the camera you know what I'm saying like she would attack the camera that's how it would have ended right. it wouldn't have been like I just ex- why did you do this or what a- <laughs> yeah because it wasn't explosive enough it, she wasn't she you know it wasn't it, and see and then here's another thing here's another thing here's another thing here's another thing all them bags like that yeah. see i would have just had one thing and then just open uh, you know it would have been one front it would have been. It would have seemed like something else, and then just all of a sudden that, right off the bat, you feel me? Instead of all that bag shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, that really, but it's still okay. We can go with the bag shit as far as the draw out the torture on a bitch. We could we could accept that, but I feel like a bitch would have rushed him upon that revelation because it wouldn't have been nothing else but violence like a like you know what i'm saying but a passive aggressive weak bitch you understand me to just because i know a lot of bitches like that that don't really they don't they don't have they don't have they they got it in them to do some sinister low-handed shit sneaky shit to you like that but to attack, they don't have it in them to attack. And she might have been that kind of bitch like, this is so amazing what you just did. Because because at the set, you know, because she think you a sucker. So she riding with it the whole time. Yeah, right. And she done came to agreement in her heart. <laughs> this is good for everybody. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah, she, this is good for everybody. He her mama. I mean, he he her he her pops. And he happy with he it. He happy with it. While the real nigga that did it is over there like, bitch, I don't give a fuck. I told you not to have it. I don't even know that bitch. That's the real nigga over there. You know what I'm saying? Same. Even though he in darkness for doing that shit. <laughs> right. But you know, he probably don't even know. It's, it's, it, you know, you don't never know, man. You know a lot of bit. You don't know what level she's playing at, bro. He might not know at all. Man. It's very possible he has no idea or he has an idea, but he ain't really sure. Or she didn't tell him all type of bro, fucked up man. situations. Bro, too. man. Sometimes, a lot of times, how many times bitches uh, make the call like, you know what? This is best for everybody because you don't have no money. You, you know, stable, good guy. You know, I was number three bitch with this nigga over here and he broke. So let me put it on this nigga and let's ride the wave and see what happened. And it may just go the distance until the, the kid get old enough and go, hey, what the fuck is going on here? And then she just go, I, I did what was best for everybody. When we ground. <laughs> oh, man. See, it's, wor- it's, wor- it's worse than what we thought. Because <laughs> it's angles, bro. There's so many angles to this shit. Like, you got to understand men. And if you've never been in this situation, men, you just got to understand. Like, that's why you can't. Some niggas. That's why you got to some... use protection, man. When you fucking. But then you're not even fucking. 
See, that's what we had. That's the, that's the, that's the, see, 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 that's, that's, that's what we had. If you use a condom, you're not even fucking. You might as well be jacking off kind of like, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and then, and then you, and then you take off the hat, then you take off the hat. And then it's consequences. It's it's we in the we in the we in the I don't know zone. We in the we in the I don't know. Niggas come up pregnant. Motherfuckers come up pregnant. Motherfuckers just say pregnant. And you know, hey, the harsh reality is three niggas was going raw at the time. So she gonna sit back and go like. So she gonna sit. And it's fucked up. You thought you was the only nigga going raw. You don't want to accept that. So she picked. So she picked. Who got the best job? Who's the best credentials? Kind of like, you know, kind of, you know. Wait till the motherfucker get here. See if it's, if he, you know. Hopefully an ambiguous look. <laughs> 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 That'll get us a few years out of everything. Make a nigga just keep going. Man, I don't know. I love her. He just ride the edge. I love her. I love her. I love her. I love her. He keeps saying it to himself. Then maybe some family members be like, man, she just don't look like you, bro. Like, Go on and cut a little piece of hair and send it in, man. See what's popping, man. Come to face it. Face it. It either is or it ain't, nigga. Listen, based on this, based on this situation, I had a conversation the other day. The conversation <laughs> went like this. This is why women, see, see, you see how the world just flows and it moves and we, we get to these new ages and the things is different, things is changing. All right. And you going to hear it from me, man. You're going to hear it from me. Okay. Nowadays, regardless of your situation, yeah, talking to Mike, talking to Mike. Regardless of the situation, regardless how much you love her, okay, it's almost to the point where it's like for peace of mind, just because it don't prove that she wasn't fucking, <laughs> it don't prove that she wasn't fucking nobody else, okay. but for peace of mind, okay, when a kid is in in the equation, you almost got to be like, we need a test regardless. I don't, but but yeah, and no woman wants to hear that. But sometimes that's offensive to a bit. No, it, always. <laughs> it ain't sometimes, and that was the that was the conversation. Is that when you tell when you look your girl in the eye and say, "Look, but I need I need to I need a test still to prove that this baby's mine," and she go, "Oh, I I ain't gave you no reason to believe, and why would you not trust me like that?" And then uh, you go like, "Girl, I grew up watching Maury." Right. A lot of them niggas wasn't the father. <laughs> right, right. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Like, and they didn't question. It. Yeah. That's exactly the point is they didn't question it, and they just let somebody say, oh, you know. Yeah, Wait, let me see something right quick. Oh, I'll keep going. Yeah, but they, they didn't question it, and they just let, let some girl tell them, hey, it's your kid. Two years later, you know, once you get past the end. The ambiguity. <laughs> yeah. Two, three years later, once you get past that, you know, now you like, hey, is that really, is that my seed? <laughs> That's my seed, bro. <laughs> you talking to your homies? You talking to your niggas? Parents? Niggas, niggas. Nigg That's my seed, bro. That's a hard thing, man. So, my, so what I said was, hey, you, you gotta have that real, real nigga conversation with your, with your real Keep woman. Going. Still to be like, look, you know, we need insurance out here. <laughs> we need that Geico. We need that State Farm, man. We need insurance. You can't just be out here just paying for nobody, you know, paying for nobody else see like that, bro. And you don't know, you know, fuck all that. She get to decide in the moment who she want to be the dad based on his prospects and his resume. So it's, it's not fair, but and she ain't going to like it. But it's fucked up, ain't it? We gonna have to we gonna have to amend some shit <laughs> going forward. <laughs> twenty twenty and beyond, we're gonna have to amend some shit. Y'all go, gonna have to y'all gonna have to submit to all documentations. <laughs> hey man, it's fucked up, man. I you know, I 
Man. And I don't want to say that because I, you know, I don't want to say that, but this just, it is what it is, man. Like, you can like it or you can not like it, but. To, uh. Cuz, man. Some niggas be taking care of kids that ain't theirs, man. And then they find out it ain't theirs. <laughs> hey, man. That seems. And he's legally his now. <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> Legally. <laughs> that's the that's the cold game right there, man. Like that the government fucked you up on it. That's the cold game. The government say you, you signed that birth certificate. <laughs> hey man, um Shout out to the DNA the, 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 <laughs> The DNA dude, man. Shout out to that dude. I hope it's real. I rejoiced because I thought it was real. You feel me? I rejoiced. You know what I'm saying? I rejoiced. I know one of my homies ha had this experience, man. I remember he was like, he type of nigga. He was he was in the game. He was in the dope game. He was having money. He was balling. He was balling. He was balling. And he has some legitimate business and some shit too, right? So his bitch was uh, um, on his head for more child support, right? And he was like, I'm already paying you, whoop de whoop, what the fuck? She was just unnecessarily trying to tax. Took a nigga to court. How much? And, and then the, 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 the judge came back. And, and cut then and cut the child support in half for the nigga like nigga had to pay, get, <laughs> yeah yeah he had to pay less than he had to pay half as much now he got a a, a, a half price cut oh yeah 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 shout out to, hey shout out to that judge yo <laughs> and the bitch you know she just folded up you know what I'm saying she just folded up Destroyed. but he was a gracious nigga. And he let her get what she was getting still. I just was like, bitch. That's just for the kid. That was just for the kid. Yeah, I'm gonna let you keep going. I'm gonna let you keep getting what you was getting. Mm -hmm. You know you was wrong and shit, but it's all good, motherfucker. See, I was like, Woo. see, that's an L, man. Look at the L's we be taking, though, man. Like some men be taking that L, bro. Hey, man, you gotta, you gotta have game, man. The only way you survive this is with game, man. The only way you survive this is with game. Step your game up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got some. I got some. Um... All right, let's keep it moving. I got. I, I'm. I got some Bible game for niggas, man. Uh -oh. But uh, yeah, I got that. Damn, I gotta go get it. I gotta go get it. All right, let me do. Oh, shout out to Tracy Morgan. Tracy Morgan getting a divorce from his bitch. Uh, I don't know if the bitch done with him. Um, I, don't, I don't know. She looked kind of pretty. I don't know. Shout out to Tracy Morgan. I hope you don't have to pay half to his bitch. Let's pray for him. Pray for these niggas hoping they, they don't have to pay half for their bitches. Okay, I got an observation. <clears throat> I want to make an observation. This is the uh, this is a game observation. Shout out to six nine six nine just dropped a new video. You see six nine dropped a video on. I didn't see. He it. did a video where he driving around the city of New York and shit outside and shit. You know. I'm quite sure he had a lot of security and shit, but it's... yeah, I just seen some some shit about him, something about him talking about something. I don't know, man. I don't really pay attention to six nine, man. I'm sorry. It, it's not valid, bro. <laughs> popping, man. I can't. I mean, it's not know. valid though. It's none of it is valid. <laughs> it's not valid. <laughs> Oh, there's some fires happening in, in California right now. Got some fires going on. All type of shit, huh? All right. Um, 
Ball smack top so I got an observation, man. Um, it's a lot of niggas spitting game out there, man. It's a lot of niggas spitting game out there, man. Trying to help niggas get bitches, man. I be seeing, man. I be seeing a lot of niggas spit game, man. I be seeing a lot of pickup artist motherfuckers. Uh, so you can get the pussy fast tonight type shit. And, um... Yeah, man, they got that's a big deal, man. I be tripping off. They be having like folly. They be having like a lot of motherfuckers be into they shit, paying for they shit. Didn't they have a show like that a few years back? The pickup artists or some shit. They on? probably did. Yeah, yeah man, <laughs> they probably did. But this a lot of them on YouTube, man. PUAs, pickup artists, a lot of motherfuckers. I be seeing a lot of motherfuckers spit game, man. A lot of motherfuckers be trying to spit game on how to. Um, get bitches and just I be seeing a lot. It is it's a lot. It's a lot. But what I be seeing, man, I to me, man, motherfuckers be spitting game on like uh niggas niggas be spitting game on how to build up your rotation. Of bitches, how they build up your rotation, how many bitches you fucking. That's that's what niggas. That's 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 what motherfuckers be spitting. They be, For the young niggas, man. That's they be like, niggas. let's let's get up the rotation of bitches that I'm fucking. I'm fucking a lot of bitches. That's what it be, right? Yeah, I can't talk, man. But <laughs> but look though, look. But look but look, niggas be niggas be niggas be. Niggas be on the rotation, build a build a rotation of bitches I'm fucking, right? <laughs> but niggas don't be having no control over the bitches. Niggas don't, nigga, it don't it it don't be like it don't be like. A positive rotation. It'd be like a negative rotation. Because all the, you you spending money on taking out all these different bitches and and, and 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 trying to maintain all these different bitches. Really tricking on them. Really tricking on all it's so it's like a negative, it's like a minus. It's like you have a whole bunch of minus signs attached to you. And you and and you fucking them all too. You know what I'm saying? So they really subtract. They really not adding to your substance. They 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 decreasing your substance. Your dealings with them decreases your substance. You 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 think you pimping because you fucking four or five bitches in rotation that you paying to take these bitches out, all these different bitches and doing shit with them entertaining these bitches and fucking them on when they want to fuck so the bitches is is, is subtracted yeah. see i'm for the positive i'm for the i'm for the bitches that increase your substance i'm, I'm for the team of bitches that increase your substance bitches that's that's what i'm you that's know, what i'm you know, or, you know in order to have them you can't touch them and it never work with thirstiness. It never work with every time. Like thirstiness always do you in. Thanks. Thirstiness do you in, man. What was that? I just heard of a nigga. Um, I just heard of a some thirstiness doing a nigga in NFL player. Convicted. Of rape. What's the name? Dana Stubblefield. Dana Stubblefield. You heard of him? 
he's a NFL football player. Uh, played for the 49ers back in the day, ex NFL player. Convicted of raping a developmentally disabled woman. Well, you know, what I wanted to say, see, I'm still in the domain of thirstiness. Right, right, right. Found guilty of luring a developmentally disabled woman to his Morgan Hill home in April 2015 with a promise of a babysitting job after contracting her through a babysitting website. He says it was him giving her money. He, he, he had her come back to the house. Let's see. Former defensive tackle who was on the 49ers seven years was found guilty by a jury on charges of rape by using, by force, using a firearm or oral copulation by force and false imprisonment. Okay. He say he was giving the bitch money. He was giving the bitch money for pussy. Like they had an agreement for fucking. And he gave her $80 for some pussy. The victim, it says the victim has struggled her whole life with learning disabilities and challenges to be self-sufficient. So, I think it was a regular bitch who was in special education. You know what I'm saying? And she, he fucked her. Maybe he fucked her, and 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 um, maybe they had an agreement. You know, either way, even if they had an agreement, it's still thirstiness doing you in because you out there paying for pussy. Because you thirsty. Going all the way back to my observation. <clears throat> is your bitches adding to your substance or is they taking away? What does that cost? What does the thirstiness cost you? Right. You feel me? Some people's costing them careers, freedom, life, life. everything. Reputation man, for thirstiness, don't lose for the no feeling, of, for the no feeling, bad, for the feeling of pussy, for the feeling of your dick and some pussy. You just said. Hey, me. hold on. Let's, we gotta ask. We gotta ask the question. <laughs> is pussy worth dying for? For some niggas, it is. <laughs> for some niggas, it is, and let's talk about that. Is pussy worth dying for? <laughs> Niggas is still out here hollering at bitches in the coronavirus times. <laughs> Niggas is ready to holler at new bitches. Niggas is ready to take down new pussy right now. If a bad bitch present herself right now and she has no visible symptoms, even if she's coughing, fuck it. Even if a bad bitch is coughing, a nigga is gonna take it down raw. A nigga is taking it down raw. <laughs> a nigga is taking. I, hey, hey, listen, listen, listen to this statistic, nigga. And I'm just making this up right now. Ninety-five <laughs> percent. You know what? I ain't gonna say it. I'm gonna say 80. I'm gonna say 80. 80 percent. Like 80 percent of niggas will take down a bad bitch with a dry cough right now. <laughs> oh, 
shit. A nigga will take her. To, a nigga will take her. Raw. Oh, man. <laughs> raw. Raw. Uh. Uh. Niggas, hey, you know what? Niggas is out here. Niggas is niggas is meeting new bitches, taking bitches out, man. Fuck that. Niggas is niggas is niggas is doing a visual inspection. Niggas, fuck it. If a bitch, she ain't she ain't wanna look sick. She look healthy. She ain't got it. Ain't got we it. can fuck raw. We can. <laughs> so you talking about niggas dying for some pussy, nigga? Hey, listen. Tell the nigga like, hey man, I legitimately cannot tell you which one of these bitches have COVID nineteen, man. <laughs> what the f- now, this is some shit where a bitch breathe on you, got it, man. Now you out here still, <laughs> fuck. It. Now, let me tell you how bad COVID-19 is in real life. Now, see, I got questions about COVID-19. Like, I wonder. Like, seriously, man, I feel like this is, some, this is something from God striking right now. We are experiencing, you know I mean? like I said, I know a nigga who straight up, man, this is a nigga that's not a good nigga. This nigga is of of, of malevolent character. You understand me? I can't even go into the to the I can't even go into the shit to help me arrive at this uh, not uh, this description. But this is a man of malevolent character. Contracted this illness. Experienced cramps in his legs, in his body. Wasn't even like sick like contemporary sick like runny nose and shit like that none of that type of shit this is just niggas just body ache hurt became delirious got rushed to the hospital right get to the hospital oh you got the shit you got the shit We got to make an emergency decision right now to save your life. You got blood clots all through your body. We got to cut off a leg to save your life. You got to make a decision now. I know old boy is is incoherent. The person in charge got to make a call. Save his life, leg cut off, do surgery. Nigga, wake up out of incoherence, leg gone. You feel me? Leg gone. Mad at his people for cutting the leg off, though. Now more and more anger and rage. It was already that before that. Now it's more because the motherfuckers. That's what Corona out there doing. And niggas is out here, new pussy. And this, <laughs> it is. Keep your circle tight, my nigga. Keep your circle tight. Another observation too, I want to make, man. I want to make, and and I want to say this, man. In my judgment of niggas, man. Sometimes, man. You know, I. You know, sometimes, man, um, this don't happen often. But you be talking to a nigga and um, you 
And then this bitch called him on the phone. And then you just hear the bitch just talk hella shit to the nigga. Like, hella shit. Just belittle the nigga. Just in front of, you know, like. And I just like to express how sad and disappointed I be feeling in a nigga when I see that happen to a nigga. I be like, listen to that bitch right there. Wow. He is really listening to this bitch say these things. And I'm here to say, man, you know, I know it's rough out there, man. It's rough out there, man. It's rough out there, man. It's only rough for the ones who ain't got the game, man. Can't it's rough. It, you know? But checking a bitch will set you free, man. It'll set you free. Like, you was being possessed by a demon. It is, it's like you cast, it's like you banished the demon from you. Like, by checking a bitch, really, man. It'll just change... I, that's just a that's just a, like a real quick like thing, but I want to go back. Do your bitches increase your substance or take from it? Ask yourself if your bitches don't increase your substance, they are killing you, my nigga. It's only a matter of time. They're killing you. Does your bitch at least bring some food to the table to try to nourish you, nigga? At a base level, do your bitch come through with some food from time to time? Or is it all negative? All tricking? You got to ask yourself, man. You got to ask yourself, man. Let me see how much time we got into this, man. Oh, we over an hour. Damn. All right, let me. Um, all right, reader, listener, emails. Reader, listener, emails. Um, you know, I got a little game for y'all niggas, man, because that, that's what we do, man. We do game, man. We do game. We do game. All right, here we go. You want to be ready. You want to be ready. A nigga from Los Angeles writes the ball smack. He say ball smack. I've been fucking with a new bad bitch on the team, but I think she might have curbed the nigga. I've been fucking with this bitch for a few months. It took me a month to smash. We went out a few times. I hit two or three times. And then she tried to tap my pockets for car note money. I stood strong and told her it was all bad for me. She fucked me that night, but then three times straight, we were supposed to kick it and the bitch flaked on me. And the last time it was a complete no call, no show. Now ball smack, this is a bad bitch. She got her own shit and whatnot. But I feel like I felt like a sucker when she came at me. Is there any way I can play this without paying a bitch? All right. Listen, my nigga. I want niggas to feel me, man, and understand what I'm saying when I be talking, man. What's real out here before your eyes, man. Do your bitches increase your substance or take from it? You always know where you stand. Now... When you when you d- 
dive into the pussy. Like when you are into the pussy, when you start fucking with a bitch and you just show such a thirst and desire for a lot of pussy. You know what I'm saying? Um, the average bitch in the real world is going to be soon soon as she as soon as she sees that you need this pussy. This is how you you are tapped in. Then she is going to tap your pocket. Once you have made, once you have, dim, once you, once you have, like, once you have declared, like, I love this pussy. I need, I, I'm fucking, we fucking. I, then she gonna be like, oh, you like it, right? you, you good, right? So well, you know, hey, you know, I'm sad today. What's wrong? We can't fuck. <laughs> Got to pay that car now. You know, got to take care of business. What? I'm sad today, bro. I'm dead. What? I thought we was just fucking for fun. Fun? <laughs> Rent 1500 The car note is seven. Edison is 150 so when you We going out tonight. We got to get... What the fuck? I got to get some new clothes. We fucking for fun? We we in L.A. Did the, the, the nigga shit pay? No. Are you, I'm saying, are you insinuating that niggas... I mean, you, you, you just paying. Like, we all paying. We all hey. paying for pussy, man. It's a trade off. Okay, what you want a lot of pussy, right? Let's go back to the original <laughs> shit. You getting confused and shit. You think everything okay. You you're okay. If you if you if you come out and you with a bad bitch in LA and you like you love the pussy? <laughs> a bitch? I, you haven't experienced that? I mean, maybe back in the day, man, when I was younger, a little younger, bitch, you know what I'm saying? When you grow up, you smarten up, man, because I, I ain't paying for nothing like that. Like, okay. I, I take a woman out. No, okay. Don't, don't, get me, don't get me wrong. I take okay. a woman out of my own. Let's look what happened. Volition. He had, he had some, he had some, he had some sessions with a bitch. They fucked a few times. She thought it was time to see what kind of nigga it was. He rejected it. So when he called for pussy, she was unavailable. We, right. we good, right? Hey, we man. good. You want to fuck? <laughs> what you calling for? It ain't we. It ain't we. This is a case by case scenario on how you deal with bitches. Right. Okay, now what? You no, know I'm saying, but as, as men, so I'm saying, should just think about it. You know, when a woman is all on your line, banging your line, right? She just right. on your shit. And, right. You know, no matter what the situation is or where you at in that situation, you know what I mean? So when she hits you up, you're like, what's up? What you want? Like, no, he want. banging her line. But I'm saying. And like, she's saying, okay, but let's reverse, kick it. I'm saying reverse it though. Reverse it. She she on his line. She, okay. She wants your time. Okay, yeah. So pay up. What you want? Well I ain't got a lot of time to be wasted. Okay, well, see. And if your currency is pussy, then you gonna always exchange for pussy. You know what I mean? Well, you you lost me. See, <laughs> my thing is my look. If you dealing with a bitch and you ain't pressing her for pussy, mm -hmm. you ain't thirsty, you ain't calling like trying to hit, trying to hit, trying to hit. <laughs> right. You 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 just 
you just dealing with a bitch because she a bad bitch. You know, y'all having fun, enjoying each other's company and whatnot. Right, right. You know, maybe you do some nice things because you like to do nice things, but it's not because. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm trying. She not tapping your Yeah, shit, right? I mean, I, you know. Rent and Then things, and things shit. flow naturally. Things flow naturally. Yeah, yeah. See, that's what I'm but I see, when, late, but man. when I'm, what, but when like a bitch, like. When bitches come out and they like, you know, fuck the shit out of this nigga. And then the nigga love the pussy and he hitting her up to, you know, hey, we got, let's kick it again so we can fuck again. Okay. You busy? You can kick it again. Uh, uh, Okay. (laughs) Hey, we'll kick it again. Hey, you know what though? Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what though? <laughs> oh man! You want to join the family? Cause it's a couple of y'all niggas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't want to join the family? Now, see if I was coming at it like the pussy don't matter to me, mm-hmm. bitch. What else do you have to offer? Because I'm really immune to the pussy. But I like you as a bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What else do you have to offer? Then they go go. Then it's different. No, then they go woo. Now, hey, you can bounce. Bounce. But see, I, you know, don't be offended. See, that's what I'm saying. Don't be, let's, let's, don't be offended when your pockets get checked. If you, if you showing, if you showing, that you really enjoy the pussy and you summon a bit, summoning a bitch. <laughs> Summon it. Oh, and then man. she do a pocket check. After that, you gotta be like, okay, well, I, I guess it's over. It's over. Mm-hmm. Or pay. <laughs> Now all bitches ain't like that, yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? But, but, but I I personally know many bitches that like when a nigga when niggas want to get on fucking streaks, they gonna do that. They gonna do that. They gonna do that. And a lot of niggas are just going ahead. Okay, yeah, you, you need a car. Oh, here, thanks. Give him some pussy. You know, back to the routine. Come through again, pussy. Tabernacle pockets, then again down the line. I mean, you know, it's, it's, uh. I, um, let me see where we at. We got, uh, how much more time? How much more time, man? How much more time? Okay, hold on. Hold on. I want to do some Bible game, but I don't want to keep niggas on here yeah, on the damn. Uh, I say that shit. I do another episode probably tomorrow or some shit. Uh, let me see. All right, I got an email now. This is a heartwarming email. Now I want y'all motherfuckers to really. This 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 next email, it's a lot of motherfuckers in this scenario right here. It's a lot of motherfuckers in this scenario, and I want motherfuckers to feel it. A bitch from Los Angeles writes the ball smack. She say ball smack. I'm a real ass bitch out here living my life. I got a good job. I'm still not affected by the quarantine. I'm good. Now... I'm a bitch in my early 30s. In my younger days, I was out there, and I admit I did a lot. I'm a reformed bitch out here trying to do better. I've been fucking with this nigga that loves for me to come through and drink the babies and babysit his son. But a nigga won't take a bitch out. A nigga won't take pics with a bitch. A nigga just keeps a bitch in the dark. 
Now I tried to break away a few times in the times that I was strong, I made it a few months. The nigga always came back begging to get a bitch back and I always folded and went back to the pat same pattern of dealing with that nigga. Boss Mac give a bitch some strength and some words to break free. I admit a bitch is overweight and I need to work on myself, but this corona done got the gyms fucked up. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah. All right, man. See, the ball smack is good for everybody. I'm helping out bitches and niggas. You understand me? And as I evaluate this, 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 uh, this email. I want niggas to look at it from two sides. I want to I want to look at it from the bitches side and look at the niggas side cuz they both are, are players in this. And you may see yourself in this. You may see yourself in this. Cuz it's a lot of niggas living like this. It's a lot of you niggas out there that's addicted to the fat bitch that you hide, that you have suck your dick and balls hard on the low. She make the bomb dick sucking sounds. She put your dick in her titties. You really like fucking a bitch. You be laid up with her, hugged up, but you don't want to, nobody can know. No pictures, no social media. But you addicted to that bitch. You really addicted to it. She she fucked way better than your baby mama. Everybody else. Probably too many niggas in the hood fucked her. You can't go public with it. It'll shame you. You can't go public with it. But you need that bitch in your life. You need her. Every couple of every every couple of weeks, you break down and you summon that bitch. You feel me? <laughs> and she come through and just suck all the nut out your balls and cook you something to eat. Watch your son for you for for a couple hours. Here's my here's here's here's. Here's my advice to a bitch like that. I think bitches, I think bitches derive energy from niggas nut. Like I think, I really think bitches derive spiritual energy. And that in itself is better than nothing. That's why she keep doing it. Because that's better than nothing. That's better than nothing. To be able to go over a real nigga house and to drink the babies and to get beat up and to cook for a nigga. So you really get to be like a nigga's super, like a slave wife, kind of like. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> The way out, the way out is is cold turkey, and the nigga loses his mind. No matter what, the nigga can't take the loss. That that's the secret that a bitch don't know is that the nigga can't really take that L. If you cold turkey, it probably you you we probably have to do a long cold turkey, but. I think you'll break a nigga. I don't think a nigga can survive without it, man. Niggas think they can. And they trick the fat bitch into thinking they can survive without her. But you can't survive without her. So. Unless you really can. I mean. Hey, nah, nah. Once niggas get in that pattern, you got to watch the pattern. Like, if a nigga is really addicted to that over years, it's niggas who do that over years and keep a bitch on tuck for years. And be addicted to that, yeah. And have a, and have a, you know, 
you know, bad or bad bitch over here that's more visually present. You listen, you already know niggas have put together a, a package like that. This this bitch right here is the visual presentation. She look good. You know, I get my respect when I bring her out. Niggas love me. But this 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 bitch right here. <laughs> She doing, she doing, she doing, she doing all the she sound effects. The she balls. doing every, bro. The I'm pulling up at two in the morning, man. I'm leaving the club, going over there. Two in the morning, lit. It's lit. <laughs> and then I'm out when the sun come up. As soon as the sun come up, I'm out. No light on me. <laughs> hey, y'all better know y'all roll. Nobody know I was there. I'm out. Hey, y'all better know y'all roll out here. In know? love. <laughs> I love you. Don't tell nobody. No pictures. Till next time. <laughs> no contact. No contact or nothing. I'm going to call you. <laughs> But see, what's funny is niggas don't realize how vulnerable they are in that spot because niggas be depending on that. It's not good to depend on that. I don't think it's good to depend on that. But niggas depend on that. And you could slip up. And you could think you could think you don't depend on that. This this what happened to niggas. This what happened to niggas. This what happened to niggas. Um A bitch would say some wild shit to a nigga. A nigga be like, fuck it. We could kick, let's go smoke one in the car or some shit. And then she just drink the babies in the car and just show you what time it is. You just go, God damn, we got to kick it again. <laughs> the next thing you know, you got, you, you doing a rotation. And then, so, what happened is, here's what happened. Here's what happened. The bitch be like, the nigga do like about three of them. And then maybe the fourth one, a bitch a bitch would be like trying to get a date out of it. I'm hungry. Shit, you want me to bring you something over here or something? <laughs> Drop off. You want me to be, I want to go, I want to go out. Let's go out. Out. You mean in the though. what? <laughs> like it's Corona. No, nah, even before that, I'm talking about before that. This is a, this is <laughs> yeah, Corona, you yeah, good? But hey, on the real though, nah, because shit is open. Bitches, bitches, bitches is getting in they date shit. They're bitches is getting in they date shit. They getting their out 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 on the patio. Y'all out there in y'all date bag, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> bitches getting that out on the patio in, bitch. I see you out there, bitch. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that's that's it's so much game, man. It's so much game. See, here's <laughs> the thing with that. Like I said, the nigga need to, even though the nigga ain't hearing this, the nigga need to know that he addicted to that. And any nigga listening to me that's in that scenario, you need to not under do not underestimate. <laughs> Don't underestimate um, the power of that. Right. Don't underestimate the power of that. Like that shit ain't affecting you. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Bitch cold turkey, you be distraught. You start noticing all the flaws in your regular bit. You be like, damn, this bitch ain't shit. She can't do none of that type of shit. And to the bitch, you know, look at look at some workout videos, man. Fast, keep yourself. Obviously, hey man. Obviously, you you a necessity. You understand me? Nigga, bitches be niggas. Bitches be necessities to niggas, and don't even niggas don't even be realizing. I mean, the bitch don't even be realizing, you know. 
I mean, but just come back to the real thirsty niggas, man. Like, it's some niggas out here that's real life thirsty. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and 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 what's the trip? Let's see. What's funny is a nigga will have a bitch like that in a tuck that would add on to his substance and be letting his other bitch drain his substance. You understand me? And then keep that fat bitch on the tuck. You know what I'm saying? Right. Up, to keep the, the 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 surface visual. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that ain't man. That shit's so overrated, man. You gotta understand that shit overrated, bro. Like, I love women, man, but dating is, is crucial. It's crucial out here, and, and the whole game is fucked up. See those ways when you see that shit, you know, the little things that make you raise your eyebrow. You really gotta just pay attention, like, you gotta pay attention, you gotta tighten up, man, because they out here, man. They out here. I, I, I experienced it, I think we all didn't experience one or two. They out here, you know what I mean? So, you gotta you gotta really know what game you playing, bro. Like, you can't think you playing basketball, your ass is playing football. Like, hey, can't. man, <laughs> nah, what it is is niggas is. You really playing chess, man, and um, and then when you playing, and then while you playing it, you really need to um, you need to remove your emotions from it, mm-hmm. and that's difficult. I mean, it, it the niggas be in love, man, and I'm gonna tell you, um, Niggas be niggas be lacking a lot of different immunities to the weapons of bitches, and a lot of the weapons of bitches like niggas have weapons that they don't use. Like the number one weapon a nigga should have is is stoicism. A, a, a nigga a nigga need to be stoic. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't stoic. You acting like you acting like a bitch because you emotional. <laughs> Bitches is emotional. All right. Then you know what's the bitch's weapon? Bitch's weapon. Uh, bitch's weapon is 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 beauty. In the in the in pleasure in the pleasure in the pleasure of pussy and 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 emotional emotional up and down swing tears <laughs> and you and you don't have immunity to tears you don't have immunity to bitch tears most niggas don't have immunity to bitch tears. And 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 um and um and um and in pledges of love in the mid in the, in the presence of beauty in the promise of pussy and, and and that's all pleasurable you know what I'm saying well niggas need to be stoic and be you know like none of that shit even count. And 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 here and here's the cold game. The reason it don't count is because all life, all life come from niggas. That that's why it don't count. Really, life come from niggas. The the the, the seed, man. The seed is from niggas. So. But anyway, that's it. We done, bro. <laughs> Hour and a half. Thank you for coming out. The Top Mac Nigga Show is a Ball Smack Industries production. Put your hands together for our special musical guest. I ain't gonna even say no name.